Daniel, good to have you. Um, after uh, Jackson Hole and yesterday, I'm just sort of curious to get your thoughts on how Mr. Powell is thinking about things and what your take is. Well, I think, David, uh, the, the thing to focus on in yesterday's press conference was what Jay Powell said after he got the first question. Uh, he had made his opening statement, he took the first question, and then he said, I'm, I'm going to answer your question in a second, but let me just say, my message hasn't changed since Jackson Hole. And I think that was the entire um, point of yesterday's news conference. He did not give a lot of information about what might change the Fed's view. He didn't give a lot of uh, signposts to say, this is maybe when we'll moderate. He just wanted to make that point that we are going to do what it takes to bring inflation down. You know, in 2021 at Jackson Hole, he was trying to convince markets that his read of the economy, which is to say that inflation was transitory, was the correct one. At Jackson Hole this year and in yesterday's press conference, he wasn't trying to convince markets about his view of the economy. He was trying to convince markets about the Fed's resoluteness in the face of inflation. Well, with that move in the backup in rates, certainly that we've seen, for example, in the Treasury market, even this morning, uh, is the market finally starting to get that? It, it appear, certainly appears that that's the case. Um, and, of course, they, the, the Fed would like to see financial conditions tightening rather than loosening. Uh, let me, though, reiterate something, which I had your program on earlier, reiterate something that both Steve Leisman and Vince Reinhardt said in different ways which is that the markets, I think, are still going to be looking to see what the Fed does if, for example, um, unemployment does begin to move up precipitate or, or at least significantly. You know, there may still be that issue of will the Fed stand firm once the decisions are not so easy. I mean, let's face it, yesterday's decision was not a hard one, even for someone who's dovishly inclined, because unemployment is still where it is, job openings are still where they are. That could change over the course of the next few months. That's interesting. So, I mean, just hypothetically, we run into a situation where, I don't know, there's an Orange County. It doesn't have to be necessarily about unemployment. You think they would still argue, look, we're busy frying bigger fish? Well, I think, you know, the, the kind of shock or the kind of news, economic shock, or news that it would take to push them off this course right now, I think would have to be a pretty significant one. And the reason I think that is back to the credibility point. Uh, they, they don't, the, the chair and others on the committee don't want any um, uncertainty in markets that they may falter or rethink things until they can make a convincing case that inflation is under control. And, and let me say, I, I think the situation might be different if a year, 15 months ago, the Fed had been giving a different message. They had already been moving into a tightening mode. But precisely because there was a widespread view that the Fed had misread the markets, they were behind the curve, I think now they probably feel a good bit of internally generated pressure to show their anti-inflation bona fides. And of course, that's what leads some people to worry that they may, in a sense, overshoot be precisely because they're so intent on showing that, yes, we're re we really mean it. 